Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I want to show you how to use the Fitbit Charge 3. I'm just going to go over some of the basic um, things about navigating the device, how do you find things, where is everything, and what it can do. So let's jump right in. Uh, but before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, and stay tuned for more awesome content on this as well. Also, if you see something you like, leave a comment. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback on the video and we appreciate uh, you guys watching. All right, let's jump right in. So. First of all, on the left side here, this there's a button that um, when it's on, it'll vibrate when you press. It's really the only button on the whole Fitbit right there. So pressing that will automatically wake up the screen and the screen will stay on for a couple of seconds and it goes off, okay? So press that button, this is our display, this is our watch face. So by swiping from the top, you will get to see your different notifications. So you are able to link it with your phone and then select specific things that you want to come through. So for example, if someone calls you, it'll show up. If someone sends you a text message, you can have those show up. You can have it show you uh, emails. It'll even show you a preview of the email as well. So I have two emails right now that are showing up in the notification section. And then I can swipe down further and hit clear all and all those will go away. So basically just swiping down from the top just shows you notifications, okay? You can't actually like answer the phone or anything, but again, if someone's calling you, it will tell you, hey, your phone is ringing, go answer it. Okay, so now, uh, if we swipe up from the top or from the bottom up, this is how you check the, the battery percentage. So right now we're on 33%, and how you can also see how many steps you have, if the steps aren't on the home screen, as well as, um, how active you were, your heart rate, how many miles you did for the day, how many calories you burnt, how many steps you did, your sleeping, your weight, how much water you drank, everything is gonna be in this section in terms of how active you were for the day. And if you swipe all the way down, it will take you back to your home screen. So top notifications, the bottom is your activity. And then you can swipe to the left or sorry, excuse me, yeah, to the left, to um, start an exercise, to do a relaxed exercise, set a timer, an alarm, check the weather, and go to your settings. So for example, if I wanna set a timer, I can go ahead and hit this. I can choose from a stopwatch or swipe left to choose from a countdown. So uh, I do do intermittent fasting, so sometimes I'll come in here and I'll just turn on the stopwatch hit that button right there and I'll let it run so I can know how long I've been in my fast for. And you can still go back to your home screen and let it run in the background. And when you're ready, just go back to the timer and you can check it, stopwatch, and you can check, see where it is. When you're done, hit the pause, swipe up to get to this and this will reset it all together and now you're back at zero. Now, when you wanna go back to your home screen, no matter what screen you're on, it's just a matter of pressing your home button and keep pressing it until it takes you all the way home. So that's that. The screen goes off, tapping it twice will also wake it up or if it's on your wrist, you can flick your wrist and normally that will make it wake up as well. So you have the flick of the wrist or you have tapping the screen as well to wake it up. Now what else do we have here? So exercise, so it will detect if you're working out, but if you wanna be really precise with your workout um, details, then I suggest you tapping on exercise and actually selecting what you're doing. Are you running, are you biking, swimming, whatever it is, treadmill, weights. This will allow it to track your activity more precisely and give you a better read in the app. So. I need to do this more, fortunately, usually I just start working out and I totally forget about this, but definitely good to do if you remember. And some of these you can swipe up and you can change like the meters or the type of pool or you can, you know, customize the settings a lot further. Okay. All right, so alarms, this is your settings right here. So just remember to get to settings, home screen and just swipe left. Two, three, swipe left three times, and here's our settings. We can change the, the brightness, so how the auto brightness works. If you wanna set the brightness or if you want the screen to uh, change the brightness depending on the light in the room. 
you can change the vibration, heart rate. Turning off the heart rate will make the battery last a little bit longer. So if you don't care about that, turn it off, get some more battery life. Let me go ahead and clear this up so you guys can see it just a little bit better. There we go. Notifications during sleep and about. So those are all just the, the basic features right there. But anything else you would want to do, you would have to do it uh, through the app. So let me show you the app really quickly. So if you're on Android, um, there is an app and a widget. If you're on iOS or iPhone, um, there's just uh, the app. So the cool thing, if you're on an Android phone and you have downloaded the Fitbit app, um, by holding down your home screen, this should work for most phones. You hold your home screen, you go to widgets, and there is a widget for the Fitbit. You go all the way down to the F section and you'll find uh, the Fitbit widget. There's two different Fitbit options here, okay? This is the one I'm using and it just has this little ring that shows up on your home screen and it shows you how far away you are from your goal. My goal is always 10,000 steps, so I'm at about 6,000 right now. So you can tap on the widget or you can tap on the app in order to get into the settings. Now you should have linked your Fitbit up with your smartphone when you first got it. Um, if you didn't have a smartphone at the time or you just didn't do it, definitely encourage you to link it up because a lot of the benefit really does lie within the app. So here you have, again, your steps and it will give you more details about how many uh, floors you climb, miles you did, calories burnt, minutes active if you worked out for that day. This will give you for the week, how many days you worked out, how long you slept, if you wore it at night. Um, information on your heart rate, how active you were, you can track how much water you drank, how much you weigh, calories, all that. And I just discovered something else really cool I wanted to share. So I use the Lose It app. And so if you use the Lose It app and you have the paid version, you can link it with your Fitbit. So it'll pull in all the steps that you've done and it'll add calories based on how active you were for the day. Also, if you log your food in the Lose It app, it will link it over to the Fitbit app. And then in the food section, it will show you how many calories you've consumed and how many you have left, okay? And then you have a couple more things, challenges here. If you wanna compete with other people, you have a, a Fitbit coaching section in the app, community, notifications. These are all just other things that are linked in with Fitbit in general. But mainly, if you wanna control other things about your Fitbit, for example, if you wanna change the clock, you would click on the little uh, Fitbit icon up here, and then you would tap on clock face, and this is where you would select a different face for the Fitbit. All clocks, tap here, just say that one, hit select, it will change it to that clock face. Now, an interesting thing I just discovered, I've been using this again for a couple of weeks and I didn't even realize this, so I have to show you this. So I was using this watch face right here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it. Now this one shows you that there's two different uh, faces for the clock. There's one that has steps and one that has the heart rate. So you have two different options in terms of what you can see when your Fitbit wakes up. Now, I wanna see my heart rate when I'm working out and when I'm not working out, I wanna see my steps. So right now, here's the watch face. And I can actually tap right here and it'll change it to the heart rate. And if I tap it again, it'll show me some other things. So calories burnt, how many miles I did, how many floors. So this is, this is one of the more unique watch faces that actually allows you to change what you see on the display. So I thought that was cool. I wanted to show you guys that. But all in all, this is how you use your Fitbit Charge 3. Um, there aren't too many apps available for it yet, but uh, I hear they are supposed to be adding more. But again, this is all the apps that are available right now. And that's it, guys. I uh, hope you did find that helpful. Uh, do me a favor, leave a comment if you did find it helpful and maybe if you learned something that you didn't know, go ahead and share it, we appreciate it. Hit that like button, uh, subscribe for more content, uh, favorite the video, share it, and uh, keep watching for more awesome content. And if there's something specific you wanna see us film, uh, leave a comment or email us and uh, we'll try to get to it. All right, thanks again for watching, take care and have a good one.